Follow the untraveled trail to a place where you can meet the communities of Nepal's remote Rasua district and discover the indigenous Tamang culture. The Tamang people here still maintain much of their traditional customs and livelihoods, their own distinct Tamang dialect, dress, and religious rituals. Pass through rural Tamang villages and ancient Buddhist stupas. As you trek through pine forests, meadows, and terraced hillsides, graced with spectacular mountain views and route, as well as the colors of rhododendron flowers in the spring. A journey you won't forget. In only a seven hour ride from Kathmandu, you will find yourself just 15 kilometers from the Tibetan border in the town of Siabrubesi along the Trisali River. From here, you can take from three to six days to complete this relatively low altitude circuit around this beautiful and culturally rich area. First, you'll work your way up to the village of Gatlang, one of the larger villages along the trail. From Gatlan, you'll head down to the Chileme Kola and the village of Chileme, which, for better and worse, has been overtaken by a hydropower project. Next, you climb up to Tatopani. Although the hot spring here is no longer hot following the 2015 earthquake, it's still, of course, a lovely little village. You continue your climb up to the circuit's highest point in the small, peaceful settlement of Nagtali Gyang at 3,165 meters. From here, you can enjoy the views of both the Longtong Range to the east and Ganesh Himal to the west. An amazing place to savor your champa porridge breakfast and tea. From Nagtali, work your way down to Tuman, a lively hillside village facing towards the east. And then you descend way down to cross the Trisali River. Before you head back up the other side to the village of Bridim. Take in the views of Siabru Besi down below as you make your way to the final village of the circuit, Sherpagaon, which, despite the name, is still a Tamang village. From Sherpagaon, you will descend down to connect to the Longtang Valley Trail in Rinche. This is where the Tamang Heritage Trail officially ends and where you can continue on up through the beautiful Longtang Valley. Or you can turn west to return to Siabru Besi alongside the roaring Longtang Kola. Or connect with the trail that takes you to the sacred Gosaikunda Lakes, which is the path that I took. Follow me along the Gosaikunda trek in the video linked in the description.
As with all the diverse places and peoples of Nepal, it is fascinating to traverse through these amazing landscapes, meet these inspiring, resilient communities, and learn about their unique culture, often so very different from our own. These Tamang communities in Rasua have unfortunately been largely marginalized in Nepal over the last few centuries, and also suffered great devastation in the 2015 earthquake. With fewer income earning opportunities in this remote place, trekking along the Tamang Heritage Trail provides much needed support to the local people here, and helps to sustain their livelihoods and preserve their traditional culture. <laughs> Oh, yeah, last, oh, yeah, last, oh.